Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to trigger button click on enter key press using JavaScript. By the end of the video, you will have the sort of output. You can see I got an input field here and a button. Let me type some text here. Now, when I will press this button set, it will display the text here on the screen. I want the same behavior when I will press the enter key. Let me type some different text 7890. Now, let me press the enter key. You can see the text is updated and I did not even click on that button. So this is a feature that we are going to implement in this video. So let's get started. I'm using VS code as my code editor. Let's create an index file here. Index.html. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to the style sheet. Also, we need a script file at the bottom, script.js. Let's have a div element here. We need one input element, type will be text. Remove these attributes, we don't need them. Let's have a button here. Text will be set. Let's have h2 element here. We'll leave it empty initially. Now save it. Now let's create a style sheet here style.css let's select the div element here display will be flex justify content will be center cap will be 10 pixels select the h2 element text align will be center select the input element padding will be 5 pixel and 10 pixel outline will be none Select button element, padding will be 5 pixel and 20 pixel, border will be none, border radius will be 5 pixels, background color will be dark blue, font color will be white and font weight will be bold. Save it. Let's open this file in the browser to see the output. Now let's work on the script file. Create script.js here. Now let's select all the elements one by one. Let's start with input element. Just copy and paste it. It will be button. Also select the heading element. It will be h2. Now let's add a click event listener to the button. Now inside this handler function, the first step is to get the value of the input element. So let's create a variable here value and get the value from the input element. We'll set that value as the text content of the heading element. So text content will be equal to this value. Save it. Let's go to the browser to see if it's working or not. Type some text here. Click set. So it's working. Now you want same behavior when enter key is pressed. So let's go to script file. You need to add a key press event to the input element. You can also use key down, but I'll go with key press just for the sake of simplicity. This is the handler function. Inside this handler function, we'll check for the key property of the event object. So if this key property is equal to enter, that means a user has pressed a enter key. In that situation, I will trigger click event on the button element. Simply save it. Now go to browser. Now type here some random text. Now instead of clicking this button, we'll press the enter key and you can see it is working. But there's an issue with this approach. Let's say in case the input element loses a focus, this logic will not work. Let me type some text here and click anywhere on the page. Now you can see 
the input element has lost the focus if i press the enter key it will not work to make it work in this situation we need to add event listener to the document let's go to script file we need to attach this key press event to the document instead of input element simply put document here save it now let's go to the browser type any text here click anywhere on the page now you can see the input element has lost the focus simply press the enter key you can see it is working now it will work in both the situations when the input element is in focus or has lost the focus i hope you got the point how it actually works see the next video have a nice day